Welcome back to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cosmos, the beginner's guide to astronomy. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the International Space Station with British astronaut Tim Peake. This is an update on Tim Peake's Principia mission on the International Space Station. It's called the Principia mission simply because it's um, named after the book that uh, Isaac Newton wrote um, on the subject of gravity back in the 17th century. Tim Peake has been in space now for six weeks. He's had many, many projects to undertake there. He's been very, very busy. One of the many things he's done is to do a spacewalk. He's become the first Brit to do a spacewalk. He went out with a colleague, they repaired some equipment that needed sorting out on the solar panels. That was a success. But his colleague, Tim Copra, had a slight issue with their spacesuit, which meant that the spacewalk had to be cut short. They both got back on board without any, any major issues there, so everything was okay. But there will be investigations by NASA to try and find out what caused some form of water leakage inside um, that particular spacesuit, because obviously that can be important for the future. Um, Tim Peake's done many, many other things. He's had lots of uh, interesting investigations and projects to undertake. He's been in communication with the Earth. He's spoken to school children in the south of England via an amateur radio setup. And he's also made some phone calls back to Earth, including dialing a wrong number. And can you imagine getting a phone call? It's clearly a wrong number, but it's not from someone in the next town or even the next country, it's someone who's calling you from outer space. Must have been quite a bizarre um, experience, both for Tim Peake and for the person who received the phone call. That's it for the International Space Station and Tim Peake. If you have any questions, please use our comments box. That's it for this edition of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cosmos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.